Hi, my name is Jocelyn Robertson. I'm from Texarkana, Texas, but I train in Spring, Texas with WCC. Double WCC, welcome to the World Champion Center, which, to no coincidence, is literally the home of gymnastics champions like Simone Biles and Jordan Chiles. As you all know, Simone and Jordan will be competing in Paris. Will Jocelyn do too? My goals for 2024, obviously the biggest one, is the Olympics um, in August. Born February 8, 2006 in Texarkana, Texas, Roberson trains under coaches Laurent Landy and Cecile Cancato Landy at World Champion Center in Spring, Texas. Her top domestic results include gold on vault at the 2022 and 2023 Winter Cup, a qualification meet for the U.S. Championships, and gold on vault and seventh place all around at the 2023 U.S. Championships. So yes, last year was Robertson's international breakout year. She won gold on vault and in the team event, and silver on floor exercise at the DTB Pokal Team Challenge in Stuttgart. She then went on to win gold on vault and floor exercise and silver on balance beam at the World Cup of Cairo. And she still wasn't done. She bagged gold on floor exercise and in the team event, and silver on vault and balance beam at the Pan American Championships in Medellin. Most importantly, she won gold in the team final at the World Championships in Antwerp. My goal for my gymnastics career is obviously the Olympics. However, I have made worlds, which is obviously a huge goal of mine since I was little. But her dreams don't stop there. And then I am committed on a full ride to Arkansas, which has always been a dream of mine to go compete in college. So, As it is pretty obvious, she is planning to continue her gymnastics career in college. She is set to attend Arkansas, where she will be the first ever national team member and world champion to compete for the Razorbacks at least according to the school's website. It is remarkable that going into college, she already has a notable list of accolades in her name, both in national and international competitions. Now that she's training alongside the GOAT herself, that's Simone Biles, just in case you didn't know which is highly doubtful, Jocelyn may just add a whole lot more awards to her already remarkable collection. Well, the fact that she knows how to go after what she wants shows her determination to progress. Following the 2022 U.S. Championships, where she finished 18th in the all-around in her first season as a senior, the Robertson family was on the move, literally. Jocelyn's mom, Ashley, had secured a new job in Houston, and for Jocelyn, that meant one thing, a chance to train alongside Simone Biles with Hall of Fame coaches Cecile and Laurent Landy. The move to WCC was like, if I'm going to move anywhere, it's going to be there. I'm not going to move anywhere else, she said during USA Gymnastics Women's Media Day in February. So I told my parents that very strongly, like I'm not moving anywhere else other than WCC, so you better figure it out. She, however, admitted that I didn't demand to move, they were demanding me to move. And I was like, okay, so if you're going to move me, this is where I'm going. It didn't take long for them, her mostly, to realize that they made the right decision. The young gymnast said that both Cecile and Laurent have given her so much confidence. I feel like that's the biggest thing. Obviously, they're so knowledgeable in gymnastics and how it works. But just knowing that they knew I could do it, and they believed that I could do it, it just gave me a different sense of confidence that I hadn't had before. And she did. Improve, that is. Before the end of May 2023, less than 10 months after her move to WCC, Raberson had been on an international tear. Now, her international presence has just become bigger than ever. For the first time ever, the University of Arkansas's gymnastics program will be represented by an athlete at the Olympic Games. Jocelyn Roberson, an incoming freshman from Texarkana, Texas, was named as a traveling replacement athlete for the Paris 2024 Games. Robertson, who competed across two days at the Olympic trials in Minneapolis, placed sixth overall, earning a combined score of 110.975. The future Razorback finished in fourth place on vault and floor, and tied for first on beam. She had never scored over 55.000 in an all-around competition before the Olympic trials, but earned a mark of 55.475 after the preliminary competition. She beat her own career high 
48 hours later with a 55.500 in the final. Note that nine athletes were named to the team or as alternates, and seven of them are committed to NCAA programs, including four from SEC schools, including Arkansas, Auburn, Florida, and LSU. Leanne Wong from Florida, also named as a traveling alternate, will head to Paris with Robertson. As traveling alternates, both Wong and Robertson can be called to replace an athlete for Team USA up until the start of the team qualification competition, which will take place on July 28th. Here's a fun fact. Jocelyn's appearance at the Olympic trials comes almost exactly 12 years after Arkansas coaches Jordan Weber and Kyla Ross were named to the Team USA squad on July 1st, 2012. Weber, Ross, and their Fierce Five teammates, Gabby Douglas, Michaela Maroney, and Ali Raisman, went on to win gold in London on July 31st, the second ever for the United States, and first on international soil. So, is Jocelyn's decision to attend Arkansas and the fact that Jordan Weber is Arkansas Razorbacks head coach a complete coincidence? The answer is a big fat no. She attributed her decision to attend Arkansas to her idolization of Jordan Weber, the 2012 Olympian. She wrote in an Instagram post that during the 2012 Olympics, she was just a six-year-old gymnast who loved watching the big gymnasts on TV. But there was one gymnast in particular that I thought hung the moon, Jordan Weber, she penned. No one doubts that Weber could help to coax even more potential out of the uber-talented Robertson as Arkansas competes in the SEC which has been the home to gymnasts like Suni Lee, Leanne Wong, and Trinity Thomas in recent seasons. I mean, I'm absolutely so proud of Jocelyn. I mean, many people don't know what it takes exactly to get to that level, to even make it to the Olympic trials, much less make that Team USA. It is one of the hardest teams out of any sport to make in our country. It may be a long way to an Olympic gold for Jocelyn at this point. But having been given the chance to be an alternate in Paris is enough honor. And Jordan, more than anyone, knows that. That she's going to be a Razorback with us very soon here. So we're just so, so proud. It goes without saying that Robertson's selection as a replacement athlete for Team USA marks a significant milestone for the Arkansas gymnastics program, solidifying her presence at the prestigious Paris 2024 Olympic Games. While Raberson is a traveling alternate, she and Leanne Wong can replace an athlete for Team USA only until the start of the team qualification competition on July 28th. So yes, if it wasn't obvious. Women's artistic gymnastics will kick off with team qualifications on the 28th, and the team final will take place on the 30th. The women's all-around final will take place on the 1st of next month, while event finals will take place from August 3rd to 5th. Just being able to hop on the plane bound for Paris is already an unexpected dream come true for Jocelyn. In an interview with Olympics.com, comma, she revealed how she has come to terms with the fact she might not get the chance to ultimately compete in Paris, despite being placed sixth overall at the US Olympic team trials. I wanted to really embrace whatever role I was put in, she said. Talking about what the last eight months since her injury had taught her, she said, this was, I thought it was impossible. I want to stress how much I didn't think this year would happen. It was hard mentally, but being able to keep pushing and keep going, she continued, it really showed me how strong I actually am. At the end of the day, I'm just going to try my best. If it, if it happens, that's going to be a, a dream come true. But if it doesn't, then I'll just move on, keep working and keep moving on. I'm so much more experienced. I have so much more confidence in my gymnastics. Watch this to see who else is getting on the plane bound for Paris.